Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to explore the question, what is a linear equation? Well, it turns out that a linear equation consists of two variables, and both of those variables are raised to the first power. Now, in addition to that, we should be able to write the equation in this form right here. If we cannot write it in that form, even though the variables x and y in this case, because they don't have to be x and y, they could be any two variables, but in this case, the variables x and y, even though they're to the first power, they need to be able to fit into this particular form of the equation. And both a and b cannot be equal at the same time. If both a and b are equal, then of course we have zero equals a constant, and that is not a linear equation. When the linear equation is graphed on a Cartesian coordinate system, and that's what this is, when we have the x and y axis, we can call that a Cartesian coordinate system. Well, we'll talk about those details a little bit more later. But when we draw a linear equation on a Cartesian coordinate system, it forms a straight line. So here's four examples. Here we have a line that's straight up and down. Here we have a line that's horizontal. Here we have a line that slopes downward. And here we have a line that slopes upward. Those are the four different kinds of, of lines that we, can get, that we can end up with when we draw or graph a linear equation. Notice we have different form of that equation. We can also write it in what we call the slope-intercept form. So this equation can be transformed into this form. And then notice we have the two variables again, x and y. They're raised to the first power. Then we have those two constants, m and b. m stands for the slope of the equation, which has to do with how steep the equation is. Here it slopes downward, here it slopes upward. And b is the place where the line crosses the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis, like right there and right there. Also notice that x in this case is called the independent variable and y is called the dependent variable. We put certain values in for x and we get corresponding values for y. And then we'll see, of course, how that's all applied. We'll show you some applications. Notice that the bottom two graphs are special cases. Here we have a vertical line and here we have a horizontal line. Notice that in this equation, we only have one variable, y equals 3. And here in this equation, we only have one variable, x equals 2. So there are special cases where only one of the two variables appears in the equation. That's why we have to have the condition that not both a and b can be 0. a can be 0 or b can be 0, but they can't both be 0 at the same time. Otherwise, again, we don't have a linear equation. So we'll talk more about all the details of this, but here it gives you a pretty good definition of what the linear equation is, and then later on we'll fill you in with all the details, how to use it, how to graph it, and so forth. And that is how it's done. 